Hello, everybody, and welcome to another, I'm going to call these quick tips uh, or tip of the day. I do these at work sometimes uh, for the other animators I work with. If there's something I've discovered or something that uh, maybe I haven't used in a long time, I'm like, hey, here's a, here's a, here's a thing. And uh, maybe you know this, maybe you don't know this. Uh, who knows? Uh, hopefully this helps you out or refreshes your memory. So today I'm going to talk about uh, measuring things and a great way when you're on set or let's say you're working on a video game, you need to create some metrics and figure out the sizes of things or the distance from one object to another uh, and how to easily do this in Motion Builder. Uh, so the first thing I want to show you is over here in the asset browser. Here's a little, it's a little thing that I just discovered uh, just recently. I'm sure this has been a feature inside of Motion Builder for a while. It's just something that I've kind of just discovered myself. And if you go into the asset browser under elements, you can double click on any one of these objects. I'm going to use a null, for example, for this. And if you normally, if you just click and you drag to your scene, you create a null. There it is, the null. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Uh, and yeah, you just, you just drag the null to the scene. Like so. But if you double click, you get this little cross and you come up here with your cross and you can just click and you just can click around. You don't have to reselect it and you can just click a bunch of nulls. And there they are, all my nulls in space. And you can do this with anything. So if I come over here, let's say to a uh, skeleton node uh, and I select, and I double click skeleton node, I can come over here and I can start building a, a chain of skeleton uh, or joints anyway. Now it'll keep drawing them until I deactivate it. And the way you deactivate it is you right click. So I'm going to right click and that's going to deactivate the drawing mode. Um, if I come over here to my schematic view, uh, you can see here's all the joints uh, and the nulls that I just created in the scene. Um, so that's kind of a, a neat little handy thing if you want to, let's say, build out a skeleton for something or you want to lay down a bunch of nulls or something. Uh, real fast. Uh, so we're going to use this and uh, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to, let me split my view. Let me go to, uh, let's see, a schematic view like this and a view like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my null and I'm going to click in, I'm going to, I'm going to create three nulls here in the scene. Oh, double click. One, two, three. All right. This is going to be what I'm going to use to measure things out with. Uh, this is very basic, but you can actually make this relatively complex. So I'm going to take these three nulls. I'm going to parent them together like this. I'm now going to take that top null. Because I created this in the schematic view, it is automatically in the center of the world, uh, as opposed to clicking somewhere in the viewport. I'm going to move this out to the side here so we can see this a little bit better. And then I'm going to take this null and I'm going to move it out this way. And I'm going to take this null and I'm going to move it out this way. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, control shift R. And what I've done is I've activated my measuring tool. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm actually, as I hover over this null, you can see it kind of lighting up green. I'm going to click here and I'm going to measure out to here. And I've now measured between these two nulls. Now, if you want to set your um, whatever it happens to be reading, in this case, I'm doing centimeters uh, because that's what you use in games. We use we use the metric system. Uh, you can come up here and you can go to preferences, and you can say I want my measuring tape to be this color. You can choose one. I choose red. I think uh, it used to be red and now they've changed it to ye like yellow. So I just changed it back to red because that's what I'm used to. Uh, you can say in caps, you want arrows or none. Um, in cap scale, how big do you want these arrows to be? Uh, units, architectural, uh, miles, centimeters, meters, uh, or kilometers, miles. <laughs> Maybe that's not miles. What is that? Mill millimeters? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I use centimeters just because that's what I'm used to. Uh, and anyways, you can set up your preferences right here. 
Uh, don't worry about the, hey, you changed something. <laughs> uh, now, if I take this null and I move it out, you can see it's actually still live. So it's actually uh, how far out I, I pull it from the first null. Uh, it is continuing to update the measurement. Now, I want to be able to draw another one and not lose this one. So what I need to do is I need to freeze it. So you hit Control Shift D, and that will freeze uh, whatever that is. But it's OK be, uh, if you freeze it, because you can still move this null, and it will still create the calculation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Control Shift R, and I'm going to go select this first null, or this null here, and come over here. And er, bonk, there you go. And Control Shift D. And now I have two. Now, something else I'm going to show you, because th actually, you know, I'm just going to delete this. Uh, let, let me show you how to delete this. So you select this, and you can just hit Delete, and it's gone. Uh, I'm going to try this again. Control Shift D. I'm sorry, Control Shift R for ruler. And I'm going to redraw this. But this time I'm going to come way out here like this before I freeze it down. Control Shift D. All right. So I zoomed out and I froze that measurement. And you can see that it's now huge compared to the other one. But let's say I want them to be the same size. Well, it's pretty simple. You just you can select both of them or just one of them. It doesn't matter. Come over to properties. Go to Curve Settings, and down here you can see Text uh, Scale. Uh, this is set to 0.51, and this one is set to uh, 0.14. So let's just round these out. Let's say, let's go 0.15. All right, so now they're both 0.15. So that's just a way that you can actually uh, adjust whatever this is, because if you get in really close, uh, it'll be small. You come out, it'll be really big whenever you create those. Something else you can uh, should be aware of is when you create these, these are actually like an object out in space somewhere. So this one's right there, and this one's right here. Uh, you can, if you want to put them in this world space, you can actually zero these out. That's fine. It just puts them in world zero, just so they're all uh, in zero, zero, zero. Uh, but you can also rotate these. So if I go and I rotate this, you can see it's actually going to start rotating this around. So this will help you when you're trying to measure around something. You can't quite see what your measurement is. Um, now there is a, a few things. There's a It's not 100% uh, amazing, even as good as this is. So if I take this, for example, and I start to go backwards, you'll see it flip upside down. <laughs> So then uh, if I roll, roll it so you can see it right side up, it's still backwards. So everything is now reversed. So if I want to go uh, in the opposite direc direction that I originally created, whether it's positive or negative, it will flip it around. And uh, to fix that, you have to delete it and you have to recreate it. But it's real easy. It's Control-Shift-R, takes you into the measuring mode, and Control-Shift-D gets you out of it. Uh, you can accidentally click on something. and accidentally click somewhere out in space. That's totally a possibility. Uh, this is live. Um, so if you want to get rid of it, you either have to hit Control Shift R again, and that will put you right back into the ruler mode. Or you can let me do that again. I made a mistake. So let's go up here. I'm just going to go to ruler, and I'm going to say delete ruler, and it will delete it. If you come up here, you'll see the um, the hotkeys, Control Shift R and Control Shift D, uh, for creating rulers. So let's go over here and we can measure something. So we're going to measure that crate. So a lot of times uh, when you're making a game, you have to have a scale of objects and know how big they are for character interactions and what have you. So we're just going to just do a kind of quick guesstimation of of this crate and just kind of overall how big this thing should is or could be or whatever so there we go there take this drag this out this way so i know that crates around 88.73 centimeters not on metric not on not on the grid 
that's okay. This is, this is my own thing, not anything else. Grab this one, pull it out here. Uh, and now I kind of get an, a rough idea of the size of this in particular crate. I could parent these nulls to this crate and they would move with the crate, which is cool. So you could get to see all these, these values, you know, move around. I can parent, uh, uh, one null to one object and another all to an null to another object. Uh, and I can get them, I can tell you how far something gets uh, tossed. So for example, uh, gosh, let's, let me think. Maybe this thing she's tossing, I can go, let's say I wanna know how far it is from here to over here. I can control shift R and I can select that and I can come over here and I can select something in his hand, maybe that right there. Did I, did I select that correctly? Let's find out as it moves. So she's, yeah, there you go. So now, now she's throwing it to him and I can actually kind of get an idea of distance that this, uh, these two characters are tossing this object. So let's say you're on stage and you know your characters are like, I don't know, two meters, three meters apart, or a meter and a half apart, uh, and you know what how the distance is on stage, uh, you can easily come into Motion Builder, set this up, and know exactly how far away things are from each other. So that is measuring. And uh, like I said, I mean, you can go crazy. You should see some of the metrics I create for the, the games I work on whenever we're figuring out chairs, and I'm... Uh, measuring like, you know, is it 50 centimeters deep, 50 centimeters wide and 46 centimeters tall? And what's the back of the chair? And um, a lot of things you can do with, with just figuring out measurements for things. You can always uh, add and expand. I can take this null, copy, paste, and parent. So now I've copy, pasted, and I parented that null right here, which is this null. I'm just drop that down. Let's drop that down to, oh, I'm in local. Let's go to global. Let's drop that down to the ground. And uh, yes, I could sit here and I can like figure out how far away is this in local space from that null. Uh, in this case, it's 49.87. But let's just go ahead and let's create a, a ruler. 49.87. And let's freeze that. So there you go. I now have uh, an idea of whatever that measurement is. All right. Well, I hope this is a good tutorial. You learned a couple of things. You learned you can come over here into your asset browser, double click on something and create a bunch of whatever it is that you're, you're clicking on. Boom. <laughs> like that. What is that under the ground? Oh, I was creating them under the, under the plane. Uh, you've learned how to set up some basic uh, measuring tapes, uh, take measurements of things, and just kind of general purpose, what can you use them for? So anyway, I hope this helped you. If any of you have uh, tips or anything interesting, I'd love to hear it. It's I want to build this community and make it a learning experience for everybody and really promote Motion Builder and everything that you can do within it. So. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe, be sure to hit like if you found this helpful, and uh, I will see you next time with my next tip of the day.